this is the second part of my Arduino automation project. As you can see, my set temperature is at 30 degrees. And right now we're at about 30 degrees also, 29 to 30 degrees centigrade in this room. And currently the switch is off because the temperature inside the room is below the set temperature but once the temperature in the room goes higher than 30 degrees it will turn on this relay i will use this lighter and raise the temperature on this sensor and you will see that this relay will turn on So you can see now it's above the set temperature and so now the relay is turned on so here is part two of my arduino automation temperature control for the sketch, we have to include the wire library, the liquid crystal display, and the DHT11 library for the humidity and temperature sensor. To install the liquid crystal display, you just have to go to the library manager and type in the LCD, then click install. You can download the DHT library from Brainy Bits on his tutorial website. Here we have set up a 16 by 2 liquid crystal display and I've signed a address of 0x3f which is the I2C address of the display and then we assign a3 analog pin 3 for the DHT11 then we set up some variables so initially we set this variable to 20 and this will be for the pins that will be used to control this variable and we have assigned a pin to activate the relay these constants will be used to debounce the buttons and these constants will be used by the DHT11 to record every interval of 3 seconds on the setup we begin serial communication we set the relay pin as an output and we initially write to the pin high because the relay will be using activates when it's pulled to ground. Then we initialize the LCD, turn on the backlight, we set the cursor at 0, 0 position. So 0 for the column and 0 for the row. But this display has two rows, so if you want to start on the second row, you have to put 0, then 1, to start on the second row. Then we'll print my name. We delay for one second so that it will display for at least a second. This line is only for debugging. Then we clear the LCD display. We declare these pins as input pull-ups so that there will be no need for external resistors. In the loop, we track the time. Then we assign to the DHT read the HTA pin. Then we set an interval for the sensor to be read every three seconds she indicated here then we display it in the serial monitor and on the LCD display here we set up some conditions 
if the DHT temperature is greater than the set temperature, we turn the relay on to cool it down. And if the set temperature, which is the set variable, is greater than the is greater than the DHT temperature, it will turn the relay off. So in this statement, we are debouncing the buttons for changing the set variable. So we'll be reading from the up button and the down button. And if the up button is equal to low, we will increment the set variable, which is the set temperature. And if the down button is sent to low, the set variable will be decremented, which brings the set temperature down every time the button is pushed. 